Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Faulty Friday. And for those of you who don't know what Faulty Friday is, it's where I sit in front of the computer and I rant about things that I hate or have fucked me over in the past or fucked me over recently. Uh, but that's not what this one's really about. It's more or less a recollection and a, I guess, a whatever word that I'm trying to think of. I'm sorry, it's 10 a.m. and I have class in like 28 minutes, so I have to... I should have just said half an hour. I hate when people do that, and I hate myself for that. I'm sorry. Um, but today, this one is about uh, the 2016 and just how shitty of a year it has been. And I think we can all agree that it's been a shitty year. Nothing good has come from it, I don't think, uh, other than entertainment-wise. it's it's There are still some things. Like every, every single corner of the universe has just been hit by the shitstorm that we call a year. And if we thought... 2012 was going to be the end of the world. God, I think we all wish now that it probably did. Ah, oh, boy, it was it it all started with David Bowie, then Alan Rickman, and then a whole bunch of other people died and then uh, people started getting angry at us, people started wars, more discrimination, more prejudice, more injustice and a lot of lot of death. A lot of wrongful death, and that is... I don't want to get too political. I just really don't want to get political. But people, uh, we are a... We literally are a divided world. It's not just we're not just the U.S., not just Britain. It's everybody. We are divided. Everybody has... It's, it's now certain that 50 out of 50 of us think differently than the other. It is... Or, well, no, all of us think differently than the other. It is a 100% chance that everybody thinks different when it comes to someone else. And it's... It's kind of it's kind of sad, but honestly, it I honestly see it coming. Have you ever heard of the term, history repeats itself? Because I, I've been... I've been repeating this for the entire year. I really have. With the presidential election, with... All this death, all this prejudice, all this fucking shit I have to say. It, it repeats itself. All this stuff has happened before, and we just we just haven't learned from it. And sure, I might be offending some people, but honestly, if you are offended about the fact that I'm basically shitting on a stupid ideal, that's your fault. Honestly, you fail to see that people have different opinions, you have failed to respect anybody's opinion but your own because you think your opinion is fact and you want to spread that out to the world. You want to say, I think my opinion is better and everyone should just think about it the way I could. Everyone should just conform to me. Everyone should, we should all just live in a fucking dictatorship you know let's let's go ahead and bring in our worst leader and say yes i'm not i'm not saying trump this is just completely off basis probably isn't going to do this but i'm just saying everyone follow me conform to me and we'll get rid of the shit that we hate that's not no that's not how you do things you don't just go and say i hate everything and i want to kill everything that i hate that's not fixing your problem. In fact, that is making it much, much worse. Me being a college student and living in Ohio, the recent thing that happened uh, oh, this week, actually, I think, was the Ohio State um, attack, which, thank God, no one was killed except for the suspect. But it it, it opened my eyes even further just to see how fucking awful our country really is and how awful our world is like how awful how many bad things really exist in this world it wasn't even about two hours after the whole thing had happened and there was someone on twitter because they played against michigan state and michigan state is their fucking rival all right they played against michigan state and some dude down in phoenix was like oh you know you cheat during a game and then all of a sudden you get shut up the next day Karma or not, nah. there's timing, there is, there's, there's 
a time and place for you to say stupid shit like that, and at that point, that was wrong. Alright, people make 9-11 jokes, and, you know, people are still insensitive to that, but people are growing into the fact, like, oh, let's just go ahead and call it, like, World War II. You can make fun of the Civil War, because no one has been alive since then, but if you make fun of someone who recently went through something, you just, it, it's it's completely wrong. And there's timing in jokes, and sometimes jokes just don't work, they don't. It, it and, and the same guy, the same guy who used that joke, all right, he, he fucking quoted and, like, tried to defend himself by saying Donald Trump has said much worse. Like, it doesn't matter who the fuck has said much worse and whatever, it's still bad. Are you telling me that there is a line between, okay, the line is Donald Trump, if I've gone past Donald Trump, then I'm good, or I'm bad? There is no line. Donald Trump is not a line. Hillary Clinton is not a line. Fucking Gandhi is not a line. It's all about the shit that you've said based off timing, based off the thing that has happened, the situation, all right? You, there is a severity meter of the shit that you've said, and if you're making fun of a goddamn university about not even a second after people, you don't know if people have died or not, that's fucking up there. That is wrong. You are a you are an asshole. And same as the people who are making jokes about it, but people who go and say, "Oh, this is what happens when a fucking university doesn't have an open carry law." No, 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 no. It is not politics at this moment. It is about figuring out who the fuck is safe and who the hell is going to fucking fix it. And of course, a man did. A police officer. A police officer fixed it, right? He shot him because he he was he was stabbing people. He stabbed people and he fucking shot him because he was he it was eleven people he shot or not shot, hurt, wounded. So the the officer was like, I gotta stop this before it gets much worse, and it was justified. It was justified to kill him because he was willing to kill people. He was doing it. He was within the act of doing it. And yet, right after that, because he was a white officer and the man was Somali, which is a different skin color than white, mind you, apparently, it is racist because he got praise for stopping a guy who was just trying to save the, like, save the university. If the cop wasn't there, you know who would have gotten killed? A whole ton of other people. All right? It's, it, it, you have to stop fucking looking at everything, like, oh, it's hate crime, yes, other people want to kill us, but when people who are trying to kill us get killed, and you look at the skin color, and you say, yes, that is totally racist, and we have a problem with, with color in our country, no, we have a problem with hate, and the fact that someone goes and says, because of skin color, it is bad, and is racist, and we should shun the cop because he killed someone just because he's a cop and all the shit that has happened in the past, that totally justifies it, right? No, it doesn't. It does not. None of it does. And it really pisses me off that three things, all right, have pissed me off. The good, the one good thing that came from it has to have something bad. There has to be someone bad. It, regardless, like, if the person who was, who was stabbing people is dead, oh, we need to blame someone else now. So they go and blame the cop. That makes no fucking sense to me, people. We are all on this earth, all right? We are all here together. And I'm not saying we're going to have peace on earth because God knows that there's no fucking way we're going to have peace on earth. That's why we're on different countries. That is why we are on different continents. He was like... I know no none of these people are going to be able to get along. Maybe there's a good amount of people that can, but whatever. I'm just going to put these guys over here, these guys up here, and I'm not going to put anybody near near Antarctica because fuck it, you know what? They're all just going to die anyway. No, I don't think anybody believed that. But it's good to have peace between some people. It is good that we... <sighs> We're, we're able to look, some of us, some of us are able to look past prejudice and skin color and all this other stuff, but it's not good that it's still happening. We've gone through this years, all these years, all of these fucking years. I'm in, I'm in one of my classes that I'm taking 
for uh, for for requirement from a university is 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 American history, you know, from when fucking they came over here and settled to uh, fucking the, the the industrial revolution or something like that. And I've seen it. It has repeated itself. It's just it. Everything I've seen it from the election to people hating on people. It is the same fucking thing that I've seen over and over and over again. And it's not. It's not enough. If 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 someone wanted to watch a movie of our history, they would be like, you know, this wasn't as good as the first one because they just seem to have rebooted every single fucking year it's like oh well let's modernize the first movie seriously seriously if, if that's if that's all we're good for is crummy reboots of history why are we even here all right the world is a shitty place and i i i i i i, I don't even know what i said in the beginning of it but it's it's all it's maddening. It really is. It really is. I can't believe that I live in a fucking world like this. I can't believe that I live in a in a world where everyone just hates each other. Like I've already accepted the fact that everyone is different. Everyone has different opinions. Everyone has their own sense of what the world should be, and that's okay. You can think, you can you can dream about the world you want, alright? You can dream about the world you want, but to get millions of people, not just not just a small following, which a small following in this world is 2 million people, alright? Maybe 50 million. If you can get a small rally of people to follow you, it's still not enough. It really isn't. If the whole world is against you, no. I'm not saying don't shoot for your dreams because it's impossible. I'm saying you can try. But if you try to not shoot for the moon, but shoot for Pluto or something like that, you're going to fail. You are going to fail. And it's going to be a waste of time. And when you fall from grace, when you fall from that, that doesn't make sense because it's space. But if you if you just don't make it, if you miss Pluto, and you just go off and off into the orc cloud, you are... Are fucked and no one no one cares because everyone saw that this person made a stupid decision because they had no training whatsoever but if you somehow make it they're like oh good they made it whatever they 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 tried and they succeeded i don't know why they tried but whatever it, i don't know what i'm getting at right now i really don't know what i'm getting at right now because i'm just so fucking angry i woke up in a salty mood and that that, that usually doesn't happen on a Friday, it really doesn't, and that's why I only have two on my other channel. It's 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 only it's it's only Friday. It's only the beginning of Friday, and I'm angry. This is too much for me, people. It is awful. It really is, but it 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 isn't the end of the world, though. This isn't the end of the world. All this hate, all of these people who are blaming another party for actions is not it's not the end of the world it really isn't but it's a scary world it really is and for those of you who are still scared about this world i am too i really am i fear for the future of 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 my kids of my kids that i don't even have of 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 a future wife who i don't even know who the fuck looks like it's I fear for my my future grandkids who don't exist. I fear for every single bit of family that I'm leaving behind when I leave this earth. I fear for that. I don't fear for myself because I live in a part where it's nice. But if this is the legacy that we have to leave behind because we're fucked because of the other generation, I don't know what, what else to do. All I know is that we're all in this together. We're all in this sinking ship that we can at least try and grab our buckets and toss the water off board, but it's still going to come back on in. But we can try. We can try. We may not win. We may not. We may lose. We may win. But we tried. And that's all that matters is that we tried because... 
That's all we can do. That's really all we can do is try. And we're not expecting awards for that stuff. We don't expect awards for trying. We expect nothing for doing good. All we do is just hope for the best of our future. It really, it really says a lot, though. This, this really says a lot. I'm not scared. I'm not, but I am a little disappointed. I'm disappointed in this year. I'm disappointed about this entire year. This whole fucking year has just been awful, and we have 29 days left of this year then we start up 2017 on a totally new leaf and if it gets much much worse you just gotta say we survived really that's only that's the only good thing that you can say about a situation like this is that you survived a shitty year you can survive another shitty year you are being put through the ringer this is life and this is what is going to become You, it's, it's all up to, it's really all up to us now. I mean, people who have just come out of adulthood, people who have just come into adulthood, who started their, who, like, people, people who started their adulthood off by voting is, is interesting because it's, you, you like a month ago or a month before that you weren't even allowed to fucking look at pornography and then a month later you're able to vote and look at pornography but it, it, it it's amazing because people who who were born into this or or they were grown into a certain ideal are now in for an awakening that it's not exactly like that because your parents your parents can tell you a lot of stuff your parents can tell you so many things about how the world can be but really it doesn't matter what they say it really doesn't matter what they say because all they want is that it goes the way they want it to and not the way you want it to you may think it's the way you want it to you may think like that that's how i want the world that's how i want the world i want i want the world to be like that it it doesn't come easy. It doesn't come that way. And along that, you will come across a lot of hardship, and you will just not want it. But really, it, it it's all it's all a shitstorm. But 2016. Let me leave you on this note. 2016. You are a fucking asshole. You were a fucking terrible, terrible year. You were the person I invited to the party and shed in a vase that cost thousands of dollars. You are the person that cut me off on the highway and proceeded to like just cause a massive pileup on the highway. You were that asshole at the beach who kicks down a kid's sandcastle, and, but in this in this world lights it on fire. But you know what? You you didn't kill me, which is a good thing. You didn't kill me, and I'm glad to live. Thank you. Thank you for sparing me this time. Uh, you opened my eyes. I am woke. As the kids would say, even though I'm technically one of those kids, I'm only 20. That's another thing, I'm only 20 and I haven't even lived my entire life yet. That's that's a different story for another day, though. That's another, that's a different story for another day. That's probably next week if I ever feel like doing it. But, 2016, you were an asshole and I hated you. You let me live, though. Uh, and I never want to see you again. I want Alan Rickman back. I would love to have David Bowie back. Uh, I'm forgetting who else died, but I know that I was equally, equally as upset about it. God, there's just too many people that have died. I just can't, I just can't, 
I can't go back into that. But 2016, I fucking hate you. Everyone hates you. Everyone hates you 2016. And I know that people who have had it nice this year also hate you as well. It has not been a good year. It has been a terrible year. And that could be because of politics. I don't know. But I don't want to get into politics. I really don't. It's... Thank you. Thank you, 2016. Just thank you. And I hate you. And I want you out. And I want the rent is due on the 5th. Which is a Sunday, I believe. No. Monday. The rent is due on Monday. I don't know. And I want you out. And I want you gone. I don't want to see you again. Thank you for listening, people who have actually decided to sit through this entire recording. And I... I hope you were entertained by the the thing in the back because that's that's the only thing that really kept this thing entertaining is for you to watch something. I don't know what the hell it is. I haven't recorded yet. I'll record it when I get back from class, but it could be one of these games that are on my desktop that I'm looking at right now. Oh, well. Anyway, yeah, thanks for listening and just stay safe. Be good to one another. Just try to be good to one another. I know this is the internet and I'm preaching to a fucking brick wall, but please just try. Like seriously, we're all we're all here. We don't want to deal with you. We really don't. You're like the uncle that wants to talk about his boat, but we're all fucking waiting to watch NASCAR or something like that. That is the most redneck thing I've ever said in my life. Anyway, thank you guys. Uh have a good one. And have a good weekend, really. Just just go out. Have a good weekend. Go see Star Wars next week, man. Go ahead, man. All this shit's good. Play some Dead Rising 4 or something. Stay safe, guys.